The, ver the Virgin Hardcore Player versus the Chad Soul of Iron Gamer. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the Virgin Hardcore Player. The server went down and killed me. This, this doesn't count. Rules are determined by what Karkos likes to do with his friends. Doesn't stray from running away from mobs. Gets dazed and died. Normal players don't understand Hardcore mode. It's honestly hilarious. Soul of Iron debuff shows he died at 28, but it didn't count. How could you blow up the raid with Baron getting bombed? It was obviously griefing. This rape doesn't count. <laughs> Dude, if somebody does that, it's going to be fucking funny. Like, oh my... I, I, I'm not advocating it, by the way. I'm not advocating it. But it, it would be funny. But it... I'm not... Don't do it. But it would be funny. But don't do it. You're allowed to level as a duo as long as you're both online together the whole I'll time. It's later. still hardcore. Yeah. No, you can't just have Soul of Iron buffed and run Deadmines twice. That's not hardcore. Dice immediately files a death appeal in the Discord and keeps playing. The chat Soul of Iron. Stops by the auction house every few levels to upgrade his gear. Appealing death? What's that? Trades with other players for useful items. Groups with friends. Runs dungeons multiple times. Doesn't record. Doesn't have an add-on. The only thing he cares about is the Soul of Iron buff. First thing he does after creating characters to run to the get the Soul of Iron buff. Bubble hearts when in danger. Dies to DC. Shrugs to lead the character and starts again. Really? That's how you will react. You just shrug it off. Dude, that's some alpha shit, dude. Dies to DC. Uh, males use some items to his bank gold. He's 60 with the Soul of Iron buff intact. Honestly, I, I I think it would be cool being able to trade with people and stuff like that. But it's so hard because, like, you can't really, like... It's a hard thing. If you start trading with people, it, it's sort of like... The, the One of the things I do like about the hardcore thing is that, like... It, the the progression kind of matters right like everything you kind of do matters and if, if you just if you can trade with people and if you can like do the auction house and stuff it kind of trivializes a little bit of the content in a way where the whole point that i think is fun about it is it makes me feel like everything i do on the character don't matters feel... right but no i don't know it's i do get it though like if you could trade with people and do stuff like that that'd be sick but there's a lot of loopholes with that, but I don't know. If, 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 yeah, like trading some water or stuff like that, it's a little bit silly, right, in, in a way, but I like not, not trading and stuff makes it so like whenever I loot something that's an upgrade for me, it makes it like huge, right? Like I finally get an upgrade and that's sick. But I do also, there is also like a really fun part about trading that's, it's, it's a, it's a weird thing, but I would love trading if there was like a dedicated hardcore server where you knew everybody was hardcore and stuff. I think that would be sick. Where you knew everybody were hardcore, right? I think so. What are they gonna say? What are they saying in the uh, in the Reddit thread here? What the fuck is a death appeal? Imagine thinking you could do that to another game like PO your runes. <laughs> yeah, the death appeal is a little bit. It it, it is. I, I get it in the way that, like, it's to circumvent the griefing in a way, right? I do understand that. But I, from my perspective, if, if I died to, like, some stupid stuff or, like, something like that, and I, like, kind of kept playing, it would make me feel a little bit weird, right? Because I know I died on the character. And I would feel like, ah. Well, even if I get to 60, I kind of died, right? Like, so it's like... I don't know. But the whole griefing thing is a little bit, you know, it's like, ah, okay, you got griefed. It's like... You know, I started laughing when I saw the two posts with death appeals due to DC. First thing it took me a few minutes to understand. If I die to DC, I don't think I would appeal it. I would just take it. It is what it is. I, I think I would just... It is what it is, man. DC death? No, I just delete. It is what it is. It happened. It's how it goes, man. I think so. No, I genuinely do think so. I would just take it. I would be pissed, but I would take it. Probably continue to 60 and use it as a bone gold. That's fair enough. It's perfectly fair if you're level 50 and recording, but the internet goes down as soon as you tag him up. That's pretty BS. I get that for sure as well. As someone who has been trying hardcore, this is pretty funny. Appealing and duos are for the weak, and if you don't do it for any validation, but your own. Mm, I I th I get the reason why people do duos because like you want to play with your friends. It's like you're doing it as a challenge together. I'm just a solo Andy man. I just think it's fun doing a challenge like this solo. Seeing what I can, seeing what I can do, seeing what mobs I can kill, I think that's sick, right? And it would really trivialize that a little bit for myself if I if I did duo. But I could see it could be fun doing it with a friend. Like if if I was like, hey hey, you know, Billy, 
Let's try to do hardcore together, and we'll play together. But it's not really my style, I think. I'm a solo Andy, man. I'm a very, I'm a very solo Andy, because I like the fact that, like, I can lock in when I want to lock in. I can lock out when I don't want to feel doing it anymore. Like, it's all me, right? I like that. That's fun. But I can see why it's fun. I can see why duos are fun, for sure. Yeah. The true chat is playing hardcore rules and deleting instantly if you die. <laughs> Dude, it hurts, man. Someone says hardcore mode where death equals delete sounds fantastic. This bastardized Iron Man bullshit where you can't group auction mail. That shit's for the birds. I'll play the game when it's meant to be played with one important distinction. I think an actual hardcore mode where your character gets deleted if you die would be so fun. You know, like you play Diablo or you're playing like Path of Exile or whatever, and you can toggle your character to be hardcore. If you could do that in WoW, that would be sick. If this character dies, it gets insta-deleted. That would be fun. That would be like, okay, this character is hardcore. That or like a server where like, if you make a character on this server, this is a hardcore server. If you die on this server, you're dead forever. In game. That would be sick. That would be biss. And I think that's what everybody has been asking for. Nobody really asked for this Soul of Iron thing. It's sort of like, you know what Blizzard does sometimes with these kind of things? Where they give it like, they kind of like half-ass the thing. They're like, okay, we see you guys want hardcore. So we're going to give you guys Soul of Iron. Which is hardcore, but like not really. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's something, but it's a, it's a very silly half measure. Like actual hardcore servers or dedicated characters would be sick. I think that would be sick, personally. That's how I feel about it. You know? I feel like hardcore should only be like no dying, only do dungeons once, no auction hours and that's it. You should be able to trade and do elite quests with other hardcore members. That's fair, that's fair. But like, I imagine if there was a hardcore server, right? If there was a hardcore server where like, okay, everybody that's on this server is playing hardcore. That would be cool, right? Because you would know if you're grouping with someone, you know that he's hardcore. Or if you do trade with someone, okay, that's a hardcore pe people that I, person I just traded with. You know, that would be sick. Um, so yeah. Interesting, really. I know, I know it's a re it, it, this is like a meme, but it, it's, it's funny. Um, I, I feel both sides a little bit, though. Like, I feel both sides. Like, I like, you know, I like some of the, the, the memes here, and I like some of that there. I'm a little bit on the fence with both, right? So, yeah. I feel like in hardcore you should be able to have a bank alt and use mail with that character. That's fair, yeah. It, it, it is a little bit rough not being able to trade and stuff. Problem with hardcore server where death equals delete is everybody will just make a bank and carry nothing of value on their main character. Isn't that what people do in like PoE and stuff as well though? Like they have like a bank where they put everything in and then like... Yeah, I mean... Seeing the 62 dungeons and farming mats with no space is rough. Yeah, I get that. I don't know. I, I personally, I'm a big fan of the hardcore stuff. I think it's really fun. Obviously, I, I would like to see a fully fully integrated version of it. Where like, okay, this is actually hardcore. But yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. For me personally, at least, right now... A very big reason as to why I'm enjoying hardcore is because of WoW. Just, you know that sentence I just said right there? Take WoW and hardcore and switch them around. The reason why I enjoy WoW right now is because of hardcore. That's what I meant to say, but I said it in the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, it's the big, it's the reason why I like it right now. It's the sole reason why I enjoy it so much. I love doing the hardcore thing right now. I think it's super fun, right? So, I don't know. It's fun. But I would like to see like a fully, a more integrated version of it for sure. I think that would be very, very cool and very, very interesting.